So the Everest is next in, and this is one of the big new Group 1 races, isn't it, um, in Australia. And I was talking about this on the Australian Race Number TV. It's a six furlong on Group 1. It's um, been a lot of Group 1s over six furlong this week. We've still got a massive field for this. Corsi at Worldland for James Shea. Father Ted, Padraig Hogan, Get High, Leon Van Rensburg, Night Owl, David Hooley, Shapeshifter, Craig Allen, Chalice Dominatrix for Rod McClure, Dazzling Josh Sutherland, Energy Darren Thompson, or Vita Blur, Dan Hughes, Owls Wink for David Hooley, Ozark Squeak, Vinnie Gerard, Regal Air, Leon Van Rensburg, Rushing Waters, Craig Beckwith, Back and Forth, Craig Allen, Geldo, Darren Thompson, Countess, Sazia, Paul Rhodes, and Inping Dominatrix for... Vinnie Gerard, so 17 in the Everest then, which is a pretty rich race, and they're spread right across the track, and away they go, all those drawn wide are going to need to get in before the turn, and Get High was quickly out, but it's Owls Wink who's got the lead then early, for Owls Wink from Shapeshifter, Countess Sazi is after that one, Energy's also up there, Father Ted isn't far off the lead either, Rushing Waters is going to try and go past everybody, that one's the current back marker, but it's Shapeshifter who's in the lead from Regal Air, Father Ted, Energy is up there as well, Get High is still well placed, back and forth is trying to get into it, so too is um, Shelley's Dominatrix but they're coming down towards the final three furlongs now then and Father Ted is just about in front from Countess Sazia then Regal Air and Get High and Geldo's coming through Owls Wink is still there as well the grey Regal Air coming through there now it's, it's Father Ted who's in the lead Regal Air is on the centre of the track in second then comes Countess Sazia and back and forth Get High Energy is there one or two of these really wide have got no chance Rushing Waters is going to have to be a miracle worker to win from them we've seen her do it before it's Father Ted in the the lead. Father Ted leads past the furlong pole. Father Ted still in the lead. They're beginning to close now. Shapeshifter, Regal Air Energy. Owls Wink get high, but it's Shapeshifter who's in the lead. Look at Rushing Water on the outside, but Owls Wink's got to get up and take it. Owls Wink wins it. Shapeshifter in Ping Dominatrix was next. And it's a win for David Hooley. There's a stewards inquiry though, and I'm surprised with the field that size around, those, around that turn. Let's take a look if he's going to get thrown out. I wouldn't have thought he will. Oh, he has. He's been thrown out. Well, right through to the last day of the season. Controversial stuff here. Owls went, for some reason, disqualified for David Hooley. And when you look at the prize money, this could have a significant effect on who actually wins the title. Craig Allen is almost certainly going to take it now on money. But whether he's going to take it on wins, I don't know. But we'll see. At the end of the day, shapeshifter for Craig Allen, the winner. Regal Air for Leon Van Rensburg, second. Imping Dominatrix, Vinnie Gerard, third. Energy, Darren Thompson, fourth. Get High, Leon Van Rensburg, fifth. And the first horse passed the post, disqualified and placed last in the Everest. So you don't see that in a Group 1 very often, but you've seen it today. And shapeshifter awarded the Everest in the stewards' room after Owls Wink disqualified for causing interference.